how do we stay laser focused on our goals, right? That's like almost like the, the holy grail in terms of how do we actually accomplish the goals that we set for ourselves, right? How do we actually get, you know, past the finish line in this multi-day marathon of life? So I've got five things, five things that I think uh, would be really useful, really useful. And, and, and for some people, these five things could be brand new. Uh, for some, maybe, you know, there were no, you know, three or two of them. And then we have the kind of missing one or two that's remaining. So I'm going to jump straight into this here, right? We've got a goal here with regards to this particular podcast. I want to stay laser focused on our conversation here today. So I'm going to begin with the first thing, the first thing. And it's this first one is going to sound counterintuitive, right? Because we are looking to see how we can stay laser focused on our goals. And so the counterintuitive kind of first thing or the first element I'd say is set your goal and then forget about it. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. Set your goal and then forget about it. You see, the, the goals that we want to accomplish or that we want to achieve in our life, uh, it's not something that we're going to get to in a day, right? For example, someone might have some sort of a, of a money goal, right? You want to make passive income or you might have some kind of business goal and you want to increase the size of your company and increase the revenue uh, that you want to gain. Or, or you might have some kind of a health or a body goal, right? You want to be of a certain weight. You want to be, you know, of a certain level, degree of fitness and so on and so forth. You know, career goals, relationship goals. And the process, the procedure, the the, the journey of accomplishing these goals, it's going to be uh, days, weeks, months, sometimes even years. And so one thing that I, I like to say is that our life is like a multi-day marathon. That is, every day we need to get up, we need to do it all over again. Right? Every day we want to get closer and closer to the finish line that we set for ourselves. And every day we want to build on some kind of momentum or the motivation for us to keep going. Except for a lot of people, they don't. They don't have the momentum. In fact, they probably the momentum is taking down you know, the opposite direction or they're getting distracted uh, by something else. Or you know, they just struggle. Kind of, you might kind of wake up in the morning and go, oh gosh, you know, I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling stuck or stagnating. So because life is like a multi-day marathon, in a multi-day marathon, you don't see your finish line. You don't get to see your finish line until literally just before the finish line. So if you set your goal, which is you know X number of crows or, or X uh, amount of weight or, or, or a certain position that you want, be very clear about what that is and then forget about it because it's going to be far away. You're not going to be able to see that. All right Now, <laughs> stay with me on that one. First point. So then what, what do we do? If I set the goal and f forget about it, the reason why we forget about it is because you don't want to be waking up every morning going, like, oh my gosh, I'm still so far away. Oh my gosh. You know, it's like driving kids on a long distance journey, right? And they're sitting in the back, back seat and they're going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? You don't want to be doing that, right? You don't want to be reminding yourself, oh my gosh, every single day, how far I, I am. All right? And we see that particularly in, we run this, uh, uh, program called the Way of the Champion, and we people come in and they're setting all these these big goals. And what we're doing is to work with them by doing what? That's the second thing right now. For you to stay laser focused on your goals is not the end goal. Stay laser focused on your milestone goals. On your milestone goals. So, for example, you set a goal for um, uh, a certain achievement you want to have five years down the road. Okay, what are some of the milestones? Well, there's a milestone four years away. There's a milestone three years away. There's a milestone two years away. There's a milestone at the end of this year. And then there's a milestone at the end of this quarter. And then there's a milestone at the end of this month. Are you following me there here so far? Right? So it's a little bit like literally running. When I go out and run, and I might have set myself a certain goal of on a run X number of kilometers a day, or maybe I tell myself on a run for, you know, an hour or two hours a day. Now, I don't think about that distance. I don't think about the time. I just go out there and when I'm running what I'm doing here in Singapore, we run on, well, where I run is on this series of paths called the, uh, we've got them, we call them the PCN, which is a punk connector network, right? A punk connector network is basically a network of paths uh, that connect all the different parks uh, around this tiny island of Singapore. And all along this path, there are lampposts. And what I do is I'm just setting a, a landmark using lampposts. I might go, okay, great. I'm aiming for that particular lamppost 
you know, in that particular distance. And that's all I'm focused on because I know that when I get towards that lamppost and the subsequent lamppost and the subsequent lamppost, I will complete my run. I will accomplish the goal, the running goal that I set for myself that day. So every time I get to that particular lamppost, I know that I am on track. I am, I know that I'm on firmly on this journey, getting me to where I want to go. And eventually I will get to that final finish line that I set for myself. So when you think about maybe you might have a health goal um, and, um, and you might measure your health goal through your weight. Okay, what's that milestone there that you want to accomplish uh, with regards to that weight by the end of this month or maybe at the end of this week? And so from there, we come into the third point here. Once we've got those kind of milestones, well, what are some of the things we need to do in order for us to get us there? So now it becomes a different kind of milestone and the milestone moves on from a milestone goal to a milestone activity. So staying on the weight, for example, you know that if you did this, 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 and this, it's going to reduce your weight by the amount. Now, what is the this, 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 and this? Is it about exercising? Is it, is it about some kind of a dietary plan uh, that you're following? Whatever that might be. Now, all I'm doing now is taking those mini, even sometimes it's going to feel like micro steps, right? These little steps. And one of the things that I've done in my life is uh, I belong to this club of people who have been to the uh, four different deserts, right? It's, it's an elite club called the Four Deserts Club. And we've all been to the four deserts of the Sahara Desert, the Atacama Desert, the Gobi Desert and the Polar Desert of Antarctica. And in each of these deserts, we run a total of 250 kilometers, right? For a combined accumulative total of 1,000 kilometers. And people sometimes ask, oh my gosh, it's such a, it's such a long distance. Like, like actually, how, how many steps does it take? Uh, and I've counted, well, I've kind of given a overall kind of like a brief count. I thought, well, you know, to complete just one race, of this nature, 250 kilometer race, it takes about 10 million steps. Yeah, 10 million steps to, to cross that finish line. And the 10 million steps don't just happen during the race itself. In fact, it happens in the weeks, months uh, leading up to race. The training, the prep, and everything that goes on, all this cumulatively comes out to about 10 million steps that then crosses the finish line and gets us our medal and our t-shirt at the end of it. Uh, and now when you think about that and you break that down, it's, it's 10 million steps. Now, every single one of those steps, they don't get you very far, right? It's just one step, right? It doesn't feel like you're getting, well, well you're not getting very far for sure. It doesn't feel like you're, you're making that much of a headway towards that final finish line. But hey, you know what? I need that first step to get the second. I need the second step to get the third. I need the third step to get the fourth you know where I'm going, all right? And then I need the 1,000 to get the 1,001. I need the 10,000 to get to the 10,001. And that's how we get finally to that 10 million steps. And that's exactly how it works. Whatever kind of goals you have, it could be about the sales and marketing you need to be doing in order for you to get you the clients. And people look at this big thing, this massive activity. Oh my gosh, sales and marketing. And people can pull their hair out. It's okay. Don't worry. Just focus on that little step. What is that first step? What is the first step going forward, right? Don't worry about the 75th step. Don't worry about the 75th thousand step. That's none of your concern. You will get that. And you'll get that by first taking the first step. So that's the third thing. Now, the fourth thing here right now is every time you reach a milestone, right? So when I'm running and I reach a particular milestone, right? Maybe at the end of the river or wherever it is, I set a, a milestone for myself. And when I reach a milestone, I have a little bit of a celebration, right? Sometimes it's just inwardly, I'm telling myself like, yes, you know, I'm a champion, right? And I'll go like, oh, I'll go a little, uh, I'll do a little inward kind of like, yeah, yeah, I, I did that. Oh, right? Or sometimes I just have a smile on my face and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I cut that milestone down. And there are times where I'm running, I'm literally, I've got my hands up, right, this way, right, big smile face. You can see people coming towards me going like, who's this weirdo? You know, what, what's he doing? Is he waving at me? But you know what that is? It's a recognition, it's an acknowledgement, uh, and it basically tells me that you're making headway, you're making headway, you're getting forward, you're getting there, you're getting there, all right? So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing here is this, um, the times where you kind of get out and go like, oh my gosh, I don't think I'll ever get there, all right? The times where you feel like giving up. Uh, the times where you feel like, you know, it's a lost cause, right? I'll never accomplish this goal. The times when you find yourself thinking that, feeling that, I want you to just stop. Stop. Stop for a moment 
And then I want you to look back. Look back. So in the desert, for example, right, when I'm in the middle of the desert, can't see the finish line, still a couple of days away. What I do when I'm feeling those low moments, I stop and I turn around and I look, I look behind me. And guess what? When I look behind me, I can't see the start line either. Now, what does that mean? If I can't see the start line, that means I have come a long way. I have come a long way. Your job is to get away from the start line. And when you get away from the start line, you will get closer and closer to your finish line. So there you go. Yeah, the five things for you to focus on uh, to keep you staying laser focused in your goal. Number one, set the goal and then forget about it, right? Number two, uh, set the milestones, to set the milestones towards your finish line. And number three, little steps, little step. What's the next step? What's the next step? What's the next step? Number four, acknowledgement, recognition, right? Celebrate that. And number five, uh, when you feel like giving up, just stop, take a look back and you go, oh my gosh, I've come a long way. So take one of these. It could be the five of you. Or it could be, well, five of these points. Or maybe for you, it could be just that one missing ingredient that you're going to need. I'm going to wish you all the best. May you stay laser focused towards your goals and cross your finish line. My name is Thaddeus Lawrence, and let's celebrate to you.